G'day. Welcome to Oz. I mean, uh, I suspect you've got a lot of undeclared flora and fauna just on your face alone, mate. What the hell does that mean? Well, you see, we've got to be careful about foreign invasive wildlife, mate. Things are different down under and... Are you calling me a wild animal? Who the hell you think you are, huh? No, no, no. Of course not, sir. If you'll just hear me out... No, bitch. You answer my question first. But I do... Shut up. Why are you always talking? Run in your mouth. Hello, sir. I'm Mick, the manager. What seems to be the problem here? The problem is... You got guys like this fuck inseminating I'm a wild animal. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir. Would you excuse us a moment? So I can talk to David about his, uh... Attitude? Sure! Fire that bitch! You made the biggest mistake of your life, Tigger Lover. What the hell just happened there? I'm sorry, sir. His face and mouth caught me off guard. I could swear I spotted mouth fungus, lice of some kind, and a large pool of bacteria on his lower lip. So I gave him the standard. We can't be too careful about foreign flora and fauna when he just blew the fuck up. Crikey, that smell. Hate to sound prejudiced, but that bloke looks like he doesn't have a dollar to his name. No way he's getting in today. How the hell did this guy get a blooming passport? Don't ask me, mate. I just work here. Would you mind doing the Q and A with him? Don't think he likes me much. Yeah. Reckon I better just get right to the point and find out what force of evil summoned him to us. Okay, so what brings you to Australia today? I'm here to meet my girl and our boys. I've missed them so much. That sounds lovely. How long have you been together? Oh, geez, shit, it's been forever and ever. Could you be a little more specific, please? My form here is looking for like X years or something like that. I got you, I got you. Let me think. August, September, October, Momaber, seven years. And when was the last time you were together? Seven years. So wait, you've been together for seven years, but you haven't seen her in seven years? Well, I've never actually been with her. This will be the first time we're meeting in person. We're going to do it. Do what? Yeah, I'm going to score. You know what I mean? Know what I'm saying? Oh, I think I understand. So how long are you planning on staying here? Forever. We're gonna live happily ever after. She's gonna support my music, art, and streaming careers. That's quite generous of her. So I assume she's financially well off? What? Well off what? Well off, uh, wealthy, rich. In a way she is. She never seems to need money between welfare and her OnlyFans account. She can support all of us. Uh, huh. And, um, how much money have you brought? Why does that matter? Isn't this a free country? Yes, yes it is. Free in the freedom of speech sense, not the... Let's go be broke down under and have Uncle Roo pay our way sense. I'm sure you understand. We can't let people in to simply become homeless beggars. Oh yeah, right. Well, like I said, she's going to support me, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, mate, that does it for my questions. Would you wait one moment while I type this in to the computer? Don't take too long. I got my whole life ahead of me and a new world to explore. So? Call security, advise them to wear full body protection, and have them escort Mr. Wilkins to the cave he came from. Crikey! <laughs>